take a second to welcome you to my class. This is how to build an amazing makeup collection for less. So basically this is all about drugstore beauty and how to build. This is great for beginners. This is great for people who just want to find really great products for less money. I know we all do really. So um, by the way, I'm Meg, which would be the next slide. <laughs> So welcome, my name is Meg Owen. I run the blog Meg O on the go, and it's mostly beauty. I do some mommy stuff, lifestyle, and but I mostly talk about beauty, and my readers and my friends always trust me for my drugstore recommendations, anything cheap that I'm gonna recommend. So what, why should you listen to me? Let's see. <laughs> Um, my expertise is that I don't, I'm not a trained official makeup artist, but I do have years of experience. Um, I have a theater degree, and in part of that degree, I worked a lot within stage makeup. I worked backstage, and I learned the techniques, although I'm not technically a makeup artist. I also am a theater teacher by trade as well, so I, I teach my students makeup. And I also um, have years and years of testing and researching products. When I got married, I loved makeup a whole bunch, but I had champagne taste on a beer budget. And I was like, we were newlyweds, and I really was into finding the best products. So I turned to the drugstore, and I turned to like really um, unique websites and seeing what people were saying about stuff. And I've gone through almost everything in the drugstore, and I found stuff that I really think is great. And if you hop on Pinterest at any time and you type in drugstore makeup, you're going to find probably at least five or six of my posts that pop up. I have viral content on Pinterest and I've landed a national te television segment before and I've been featured on sites like BuzzFeed for my finds. Um, today I also want to introduce you to my friend Katie. She's going to be our model. She's also a blogger. You can find her at the Nerdy Katie if you ever want to find her and she's one of, she's my best friend I've known her since I was you know we, we were just talking the other day almost 20 years you know you're getting old when your friends you've almost known for 20 years um, anyway she's here with me today and what we're gonna go over is we're gonna first talk about ways to save at your favorite uh, either drug stores or high-end retailers what should be in your drugstore makeup capsule is what I call it so a starter kit, anybody that's starting out and wants the best products for the low price, we're going to talk about that. And not only am I going to show you that, I'm going to apply a full face of makeup on Katie using all the products that I suggest so you can see an application technique um, along with budget brushes and tools. Yes. Do we love that? Oh, I, I lost my beauty blender. No, I didn't. It's right here. Um, and... What else? I'm also going to talk about how to find dupes. And what a dupe is, is anything that you can find for a, at the drugstore for a, an affordable price that's very comparable to a high-end cult favorite makeup product. OK, so let's just um, talk about why are we focusing on drugstore? Why is it my thing? Why do I love it? I think it's important to invest in things that work for you. But I love drugstore makeup because, A, some of the big brands that are in high-end makeup retailers are owned by parent companies, like L'Oreal owns Urban Decay and MAC. And so you're going to find products that are really comparable to its high-end like its, high counterpart, especially with Lancome and L'Oreal. Um, there's a lot of like really amazing stuff that you can find at the drugstore. And I know it's really overwhelming to walk in, and it looks almost like Sephora or Ulta. You walk in to Target or Walgreens, and there's tons of makeup, and you're like, where do I even start? And you can't test things. You can't feel them or try them out. So I'm going to show you my favorites. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is ways to save on your ma favorite makeup products. And one of my favorite things to do is to join rewards programs at either Sephora or Ulta, or even on, let's say, you really love Too Faced or Tarte, and you guys want to save make, uh, money on those brands, you can, they have like rewards programs, or you can sign up for their email lists. 
and they'll either email you or send out coupons to your home address. Like I love the Ulta coupons. You'll always get a 300, 300, 350, $3.50 coupon. And they also send 20% coupons for your entire purchase very often as well. Um, I love, like I said, I love signing up for email address, uh, their email lists because they send coupon codes that way. One thing I discovered recently that I love is that you can use manufacturer's coupons at Ulta. So my favorite way to do this is I go on to like coupons.com and I'll like print off like $3 off L'Oreal or whatever. And then you can use that 350 off coupon that they send in their mailers and then you get like almost $7 off a product, which is great. And this is kind of a go, f like a, you know, you know how to do this, but always search for a coupon code before you buy online. <coughs> Excuse me. One thing also, big brands like to wait until late fall until they put their big sales out, their friends and family sales. So Sephora always does theirs like right at the end of October or mid-October. It's usually in like almost November when they do theirs. Same with Ulta, same with a lot of big beauty, beauty, beauty brands like Tarte, <clears throat> Too Faced. I know um, Drugstore and Beauty.com does their big friends and family sale in fall and it's 20% off so it's a time if you want to save on some high-end products to go stock up. And <clears throat> I love e.l.f. Cosmetics. I'm going to feature a couple of their products today. But it's so affordable, first of all. But second of all, they always put their stuff on sale on their website instead of going into Target. And just now, like last week, they had a 40% off sale. So you can buy like a 350 something for like a, like not even $2. I'm sorry, I'm getting over like, like a sickness. Um, one thing I also love is Walgreens. Right when you walk in, there's their um, monthly coupon book booklets, and you can use that on top of their buy one, get one half off L'Oreal. I love those. And then finally, I always suggest the Tar Target Cartwheel app, although I will say, I think Target's not the cheapest place to buy drugstore makeup because I feel like they never have really great coupons, and I feel like they always price their stuff higher than other drugstores. So I really love... Um, Walgreens, CVS, and Ulta, I think, are the best places for me when I go to buy my drugstore beauty. <clears throat> so we're going to start talking about our building our drugstore capsule makeup. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, you can go to the next one. So what's a capsule? You've probably heard of wardrobe capsule term used before in terms of fashion. And I like to use that in beauty where you're going to build a wardrobe of makeup that's going to give you a lot of different looks. So you can be able to do something neutral for every day and then you're going to do something for a pop of color or a date night or something more dramatic. <clears throat> so some of, these are some of the products I've put on the screen that <clears throat> I would suggest getting in your collection to kind of give you a full collection of makeup but that's not going to give you um, it's not going to break the bank, honestly, with the products I'm going to suggest. <coughs> Excuse me. Recently on my blog, I did a video, and um, it's kind of recent, so you should be able to go and find it. I did half of my face with drugstore makeup, which was almost $500, like a full face, including primer. And the other half of my face I did with drugstore, and it was like, like $197 or something crazy. So my full face. If you want to go find that, um, that's on my blog. But I use almost every single option from primer to foundation to concealer and all this stuff. But for your face, we're going to go over all of these products. And um, I'm actually going to apply them on my friend Katie right here. So Katie, come on up. What's my next slide? <clears throat> and I'm also going to go over tools. So all the tools I'm going to be using today are budget-friendly items that you can get either online or in a drugstore somewhere. <clears throat> but most, I, I tried to pick stuff that you can mostly find online. There was just some things that I really love that are drugstore pro or online brands. Okay. So, whoop, go back a second to, oh, anyway, that's okay, we're good here. So the following products that I'm gonna go over today 
I've listed lots of really great options in your drugstore makeup shopping list that you got as you walked in. I'm, I've decided, I, what I did was I went through my favorite, ca all of the categories that from primer all the way to over to lips. And I went through and I picked out my favorite items that I suggest to everybody all the time. And then um, they're in that list right now. So um, there are some slides too right here. Okay, keep going. <clears throat> yeah, just keep going. So we're going to start with primer. And um, I listed a couple options for whether you're oily, dry, normal combination. And one that I really like to recommend r lately is the Maybelline um, Master Prime Blur and Illuminate Primer. And I'm going to just go ahead and do this now. Um, it's right here, the Maybelline Master Prime Blur and Illuminate Primer. It's really great because it has a silicone base and then it also kind of luminizes the skin a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and apply this to Katie. Or you could do it to yourself. Because it's this is easy. You don't need a professional for this, right? And she uses this one. She loves this one, too. And she uses it. Um, <clears throat> do you need a mirror? And I've also listed some really kind of unconventional awesome. You saw like the Monistat Chafing Relief Powder Gel. You're like, what the heck is that? Um, I, when I first saw that, I was like, what? It is an exact dupe for the Smashbox primer that's so popular at like Sephora and Ulta. It is that clear silicone based primer. I listed that in there and another really popular option that people love for the makeup to stay and stick on the face is the Nivea post shave balm. It's like a literally an aftershave balm for men that people are obsessed with on YouTube. Nikki Tutorials, I don't know if any of y'all follow her. She's like obsessed with that and I tried it and I thought, this is awesome. So, and let's go to the next slide. I've, um, oh, we're color correcting, sorry. If you don't, I've suggested some color correcting products that you can find at the drugstore. And what a color corrector does is it's gonna neutralize any discoloration or problems that you're trying to target. Like for Katie, she has some redness on the face that she likes to counteract. So she likes to color correct with what a, a green product or a green cream concealer or corrector. A lot of people that if you suffer for, from under eye circles or darkness, usually an orange or salmon toned concealer or corrector is really great under the eye. So what I'm going to do today for Katie, this is the NYX under eye corrector. Yes, dark circle, dark circle concealer. I'm going to just use a little bit. Are we good to go here? I'm going to use a little bit of that under her eyes to counteract counteract a little bit of darkness and you'll notice that it's kind of it kind of looks crazy when you first do it but once we apply her foundation you're going to notice that it all kind of takes away and neutralizes and so she suffers from redness she has a birthmark oop that's purple you don't want purple on red <laughs> nerves <laughs> you want green on red <laughs> If you have yellow or sallow skin, purple really, really helps with brightness. Green helps counteract redness. And yellow also helps counteract any kind of like um, dullness as well. So there we go. And then now that I've done that, I'm gonna go in with foundation. Let's go to the, we have to go back to the slide. We're gonna be flipping back and forth between slides. And um, are you gonna go? forward. So I've, I've got some of my holy grail drugstore foundations that I've listed up here and for oil, normal oily or dry skin. And these are my suggestions. They are all in your um, drugstore shopping list right now. So like I said, everything that's up on these slides is with you right now. So I figured you wouldn't have to keep going back and forth. And um, one, what I like to suggest for my friends and readers is just to really figure out your skin type and what you want the foundation to do. But if we're talking about a, a starter kit, like something that's the best for you, you want something that's about a medium coverage that you can build up to full that you want or you can sheer it out when you want. And I lo love to suggest the L'Oreal True Match Foundation for those people because I feel like <clears throat> it's a really great starter foundation. 
But I'm, today I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation. It's new to their line. And I love it because it stays put for a really long time, but it, it isn't too flat on the skin. So if you're like in your 30s, or if you're a little more, you have a little bit more mature skin, I wouldn't go with something that has more of a matte finish because it tends to settle in and make you look a little older. But if you're young and you have oily skin, a matte foundation is a really great option. But I'm going to use the L'Oreal um, Pro Glow Infallible today on Katie. She also uses and loves this, and so do I. And I just use that right over the corrector. I like to dot it over the face. And then this is my first tool I'm going to use on her face as well. I just, there's no rhyme or reason. I just dot it on the face. You look so cute. And then this is the Real Techniques blending sponge. I tell you, you do not need a beauty blender. They're $20. This is like seven. Or if you get it on Amazon, they're cheaper. You can get them in a pack for like under $10, two of them. And so what I like to do is I bounce. This is damp. It's already been dampened, and um, the water squeezed out. So you run it under the sink. You squish it up a few times, and then you squish all the water out of it. So it's kind of damp and bouncy. And then you just bounce it on the skin. And it's going to, like the parts that I color corrected, you may need to use just a little more just to kind of cover that up. But you notice that her redness that she had right there, this is her birthmark that it um, counteracts that a whole lot. Just kind of like a, oh no, there you go, thank you. <laughs> and Katie and I are the same age, so I know all this stuff I'm using on her. And we have similar skin types, so I know all this stuff I'm using on her is gonna work. <laughs> thank you. Okay, so Let's move on from that. So I'm like, is this the cap to this? I'm just making a mess up here. So after I, so I prime, then I color correct, then I use foundation, and then I use concealer. This is my holy grail concealer just ever, even over all of the high-end stuff. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm, I kid you not, it is identical to the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer that is like so popular among the masses, and what I love about it is that it's just, oh, I, this is another really cool hack I should show you, is the camera right here? Okay, so you know in all of your concealers, they have this little stopper that help, that prevents the product from spilling out, right? You can take that out if you are um, wanting to get extra product and you want that product to last. So I took a pair of tweezers in mine and I'm able to get so much more product out of that concealer because I love this concealer. You can tell, like, oh my gosh, it's getting everywhere now. But anyway, <laughs> I love doing that, and that also gets you literally three months more in your concealer. And um, I did that to my Urban Decay Naked Skin one because I love that one too, but I just keep going back to the Maybelline Fit Me. I've listed some other concealers that I really like in your drugstore list, but I really like this one because I feel... It just blends out amazing. It's not too yellow, it's not too pink. It's very neutral, and that's what I really love about it. So I have it in two shades, as you can see. So I use a lighter one for underneath the eyes and to highlight the high points of the face. And then I also use one that is a more of a skin, that matches my skin tone if I had any blemishes or spots that I wanted to cover that my foundation didn't cover. So. <sighs> you can see this is a mess. And I'm going to go back over to Katie, and I'm going to highlight with this concealer. So I've already corrected underneath her eyes, so she's not going to have darkness, but I'm going to bring light into the places that I want to bring light. So what I like to do is create a little triangle under the eye. I'm like, yes, this is the right color. I'm going to have to go over on this side for a second. And um, when you highlight, you're bringing light into the face where the where light would naturally occur. And then I'm also going to contour her later, and you'll see what I do there. Down the bridge of the nose, and then a little bit on the chin. This is just adding some more depth and, and dimension into the skin, because when we use foundation, we make our skin look all one color and really flat. But when we add in um, highlight or a concealer or a contour, we're bringing more depth and 3D, three-dimensional looks to our face again. 
I have too much on there. Okay, so look up. And I just used the blending sponge again to blend the concealer in those spots. Look up. And there you have it. That's concealer. Now for powders, I've made some suggestions, but one I, al I always love to suggest is the May uh, Rimmel Stay Matte. And what I love about this one is that it's not too chalky, not too, um, it doesn't make you look too matte. Like it says stay matte, but it's, it's, I feel like it's not, doesn't make you look ghastly and chalky. So I'm gonna just set everything on the face. I've made some other suggestions, like I said. Um, if you have dry skin, if you're more mature, you may not enjoy this as much. Look, but if you're a teenager or oily, you're gonna love this look up. And I also set the concealer under the eyes or I'll take a smaller brush. This is the Real Techniques powder brush. The, they can be found at so many different drugstores in Ulta. And this is the Real Techniques setting brush and I love to use this under the eyes to set concealer and the highlight. And I like this as a translucent powder so it's not gonna take away what I just did. Okay. After um, concealer, I go with bronzer. Let's go back to the slides. I think I have a couple um, bronzing and contouring. So what we did to bring light with a face with our highlighting concealer, we use a bronzer or a contour to give more definition or warmth to the face. So the, different, the difference between a bronzer and a contour, a bronzer would bring more warmth to the face, like if you got more tan or the sun kissed your face. A contour is usually more of something that is a cool tone or neutral tone powder or cream if you wanted, and that would bring more depth or shadow to the face where, you would, where shadows would naturally occur, which in most cases would be under the jawline, along the temples, around the jaw, the sides of the nose. And then, so what I like to do, because I feel like it looks more natural, is I use a contour first to chisel out and then I go in with the bronzer to kind of buff it out and give the face more life and make it look a little bit more sun-kissed. So we'll go, I'm gonna use um, the contour first. And this is the um, L'Oreal Infallible Contour Palette and I really like it because it does have a highlight which can be used um, on the top of the cheekbones. And then the contour is just a really cool toned uh, neutral color and this is the bronzer I'm going to use. This is the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer. This is three dollars y'all. It is a dupe for Benefits Hula. I'm not even joking. And this I'm going to use the contour with this Morphe M523 brush. It's on that list that I've given you. And then I use bronzer with the e.l.f. complexion brush. So what I do to contour is would you turn that way? So I usually like to find, this is where I like to contour you. I like to place my brush a little bit like that between a diagonal from the top of the ear down. And then I just create a harsh line. It's gonna look a little harsh now, but we're gonna blend it out with our bronzer. If you guys have any like comments, questions, concerns, like, you can yell at me. And so I'm chiseling that out there. And it's gonna look kind of scary first. <laughs> She's gonna look a little bit um, shadowy, but we're gonna make it look good. And so I do it along the jawline as well. Who doesn't like to have a double chin like nobody? and then on the tops of her temples. And then this is where I go in with my bronzer, which is that NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer in Sunny. And then I'll buff out those harsh lines, but I, I'm not buff, buffing it out with a powder because I feel like a powder is just gonna take it away, but a bronzer is gonna blend it out and also <clears throat> give her a little bit of warmth to the face. Okay, and then I like to put some on the nose because I feel like our nose has a little bit of depth 
naturally. If you're like extra fancy, a lot of people like to contour their nose just on the sides of the nose with a small like eyeshadow brush. But I'm not gonna do that today because I feel like Katie doesn't really need that. You got a nice nose, girl. Okay. <laughs> now, oh gosh, I love so many blushes at the drugstore, you guys. Um, let's go to the slides. <clears throat> and there's uh, different options for what you're looking for. If you want more of a matte finish, shimmer finish, I've got some amazing suggestions in your list. Um, one of my favorite blushes of all time is Milani's Lum Luminoso. It's so good, it's so pretty. I didn't bring it today because I wanted to use more of a matte blush so I could really like bling her out with some highlighter on top of it. Um, but these are some of my favorite and these are so cheap, it's unreal. But today I decided to bring my Essence Silky Touch Blush in Autumn Peach and it is so pretty. It is a really nice matte blush that's neutral, peachy. It's really pretty on the skin. And it's, I tried to find the cheapest stuff I had too. This is like $3. It's insane. This is a Morphe brush. This is an E4. I feel like I got a lot of blush there. If you have too much, I always like to tap it off. I'm like she's gonna be really blushy. And I love this one, it's a synthetic brush. I feel like it really applies the blush very evenly. The lighting's not the best right here, but should have brought my ring light, right? <laughs> That's what all the beauty people have. But the blush just gives a little bit of life to the cheeks. I, I kind of sandwich my products, if you will. So my, my contour's right here, my bronzer's blending it out, and then my blush is right above it. And then on top of that, the top of the sandwich, or the layer cake, or whatever we're gonna call it, is my highlighter. And that's the next thing. Highlighters are like all the rage in the beauty community. Uh, everybody's obsessed with highlighters. And there's really great options at the drugstore, but this one's my favorite. Unfortunately, it's a little harder to find. You can find it at Ulta. It is a British beauty brand called Makeup Revolution. And this is a dupe for the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick, no lie. <laughs> Guess what the name of it is? A Shimmer Brick. And this is in Radiant. Ooh, I should put my hand there so you can see the blingy swatch. Yes, bling it. And what's nice about it is that you can dip your brush into the lighter colors and get more of a lighter highlight. Or if you wanted to get your brush in the bottom, you can get more of a bronzy highlight. I just think it looks amazing on the skin. It is a, literally a dupe for the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick. And these are at Ulta. And um, I'm using this Real Technique setting brush. And where I like to apply the highlighter is right on top of my blush, almost like I said, it's a, it's a little sandwich or a layer cake, if you will. And it's right there. I'm gonna bling you out, okay? She's like, oh my God. Like, I, I like highlighter, you can probably see mine. Can you see it? <laughs> um, I can't really tell what I'm doing. I'm sure once you step into a certain spot in the light, we're gonna really see it. You can? <laughs> She's like, oh, I can see it. And I just like, I feel like it gives so much life to the cheek. If you have texture issues, you may not love highlighter as much, um, especially if you have a lot of large pores on the cheeks. A lot of the people that have those issues don't love highlighters as much. So you might try a shimmery blush instead of a highlighter because highlighters tend to be a pretty intense. Okay, let's go back to slides and see what I have on there next. Um, I'm, oh, brows. My, one of my holy grail brow products is the Anastasia Brow Wiz. It's a tiny little um, brow pencil that is, you know, mechanical. Girl, I got two dupes for you. This first one is the NYX Micro Brow. It's very good. It also, it looks identical to the Brow Wiz. I could go back in my suitcase right now and show you, but that'd be weird. Um, it looks identical to the Brow Wiz, and same with the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. It almost looks identical as well. I brought the NYX one with me today. She has her brows on, because I feel like brows take a long time to do, and I didn't want to just like show you a whole brow tutorial 
while I was here as well. I wanted to focus on products that I think were really great. So if you're looking for a really great brow product, the NYX Micro Brow and the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer are my, I like to rotate them. So let's say you love a high-end product. I like to buy the drugstore dupe and then like switch them out back and forth. <laughs> So I, so I get more longevity of life with my brow wiz. I'm like, because I love the brow wiz. I won't give it up. I won't quit it. So what I do is I like to rotate it with my other products. So I feel like my high-end products, I get more life throughout because they run out so quickly. And then the Brow Stylist Plumper Brow, brow Gel is so awesome. It's a brow gel to set your brows into place. It's a really great dupe for the Benefit Gimme Brow. Also, the Milani Clear Brow Gel is really great. That's in your list as well. So we're going to skip brows, and let's go to the next slide. Um, Eyeshadow is kind of hard to find at the drugstore until recently. I was, I'm just really hard to impress when it comes to eyeshadow palettes and eyeshadow stuff. But one, one brand that I like, I always go back to is Wet n Wild, which is like, what? That's like from like the 90s. Like Nobody likes that anymore. Girl, it is so good. Their trios are so good. Um, there's one called Walking on Eggshells. There's some amazing, great, oh, she has it back there? Yes! It's so good. It's amazing. That's a great trio. Uh, and they also have like six, pal six eyeshadow palettes. I feel like everybody, that's kind of really well known. People really like the Wet n Wild eyeshadows. You really can't go wrong with them. Either their trios, their palettes, their, um, their singles are really good. But also, I love these that I brought today. There's a couple. This is the e.l.f. Prism palette, and it's an all shimmer palette. And then, so let me swatch. My hands are going to just be like all swatched up by the time I'm done here. So it's really pretty, buttery. And then the one I brought next to it is the e.l.f. Mad for Matte eyeshadow palette. And I feel like that is another really great eyeshadow palette. These are both $10. These all three products I'm going to show you are $10. And then this is the L'Oreal, not L'Oreal, CoverGirl True Naked Roses palette. This is like a really great dupe for the Naked 3 palette. In my video that I told you about earlier where I did half of my face high-end, half drugstore, I used this right next to the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette, and it looks the same. So today I brought these three palettes to show you because I feel like not as many people talk about them, but I just feel like the quality is really great. They're all, all of these are $10 each. And um, I'm just going to do a really quick eyeshadow look for you. And I'm going to be using some Morphe brushes. Let me look at my time. I am so good on time. Yes. Um, I really like to suggest Morphe because they're really similar to MAC and Sigma brushes. And that's, a, unfortunately, that is an online company that you buy, that you need to buy online. But they're really great. But Real Techniques and e.l.f. also make some really great brushes as well. I'm going to do this complete eye look with five, five brushes, but I'm going to be very quick about it, hopefully. I love doing eyeshadow. It's like my favorite thing. So I'm going to start with um, what we like to call in beauty our transition shade. And what that is, is it's... It's a shade that goes like right above the crease. That's like the eyeshadow is going to blend out. It really helps your eyeshadow from looking like harsh lines. And so I'm taking um, like a neutral nude color, almost like a mid-tone brown. And that's going into her crease as her transition. And then from there, and I use the, the matte palette. I'm going to switch in between the three because I'm fancy. And, um, you know, I'm going to stick with the matte. And then what I'm going to do is take the f smaller fluffy brush and define the outer corner in her crease. And I'm going to use a darker brown. I don't know if you can see when. Oh, no. I, I'm going to use a darker brown for that in her crease. And this just gives a little bit more definition. And then finally, not finally, I could spend all day doing my eyes really. Because I have like, I make the joke that I have anime eyelids. Like they're so big, I could just like put tons of eyeshadow on them. Okay, relax just a little bit. There we go. There you go. Yeah, do that. 
I'm using the Prism palette, so I switched to the Prism palette, and I'm picking up this like nude gold shade on the lid, and I'm just kind of packing that on the lid. And we're going to be very, very neutral with this eye look. This is perfect for work, running errands. What This look that I'm doing today is just like a really easy everyday look. And then you always want to highlight the brow bone, so the skin right there underneath the underneath the eyebrow, I take a really small Morphe brush and throw a little bit of a cream color in this matte palette on there. And then I'm going to run back into this prism palette and I'm going to highlight the inner corner with that same brush and a really shimmery eyeshadow. Can you open? Okay. And then if I'm feeling a little fancy, which I kind of feel a fancy today, I'll take a little bit of a brown, look up, and I smudge that under the lash line. This gets, I especially like if you have big eyes like me, I love to do this because it really kind of pulls the look together. And I'm just using a little bit. You're kind of creasing the hair. Look up. If you feel like your eyeshadow or like your concealer is creasing, I like to take a, the damp beauty blender and just kind of bounce it in a little bit. Okay, that's eyeshadow. Yay, we're almost done. Do I have eyeliner next? Okay. Um, this is a new discovery for me. I've put a couple on there that I really like. I have a pencil suggestion, I have a liquid eyeliner suggestion, and I have a cream liner suggestion, which is a gel liner you use, you dip your brush in and you put it on. Today I'm gonna to be using the um, Maybelline Master Precise Skinny Pencil, and I love this because I can use it on my water, this is called your waterline right here. I can just, sm did I just totally screw up my makeup here? No, I'm good. You can totally, Throw it on the waterline. You can also use it on the lash line. It goes anywhere. It's waterproof. It stays put. Especially if your eyes tear up a lot or makeup tends to slide off your face a little bit, you're going to really like this one. So I'm going to, and also, if you really kind of stink at eyeliner, what I like to do, which Katie says she doesn't like, do you not like people putting eyeliner on you? Okay. You want to do it yourself? Okay. <laughs> She's like, don't touch my eyes. Okay. <laughs> she was looking at me like, girl. <laughs> Katie says she's not very great at putting on eyeliner. I know, I understand the struggle. Like, it take, I'm still practicing. Ooh, oh, yeah, ooh, she's doing it. Put it on. Just, just on your lash line, I'm gonna smudge it out. She, she said that she struggles with eyeliner, and I understand the struggle. The struggle is real with eyeliner. I still practice my wing liner on, like, this is embarrassing. Like, a couple times a week, like, before I take a shower and wash my makeup off, I practice. <laughs> That's the best way to do it though. Like that is the best way to practice your wing liner. That's the best way to practice like, you know, your brows if you really want to get your brows down. And so she says that she doesn't like eyeliner, putting it on because she feels like she messes it up. But I have a solution to that problem. I like to take a smudge brush. You can stop because I'm going to smudge it out. Um, and just apply it messily and then you'll take a smudge brush and then you just kind of smoke it out. That's the best way to fix eyeliner and make it look a little bit more, it's like a smoky definition. And this is the um, e.l.f. contour brush. I use this under her lash line as well. Can you open? So you can see it's given her, look up, now look up. It's given her some smoky definition without it completely um, messing up like, she can totally screw up her eyeliner and she's fine. Let's look up again. Okay. For um, mascaras, oh gosh, I only use drugstore mascara. But one of my favorites that I always go back to are the ones I've listed up there. I also would say that one of my holy grail mascaras like ever is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. I just love the bristly brush. It's so good. Um, I have a post on my blog, even if you type in drugstore mascara on Pinterest, you'll probably find it. It is the, um, I list my top 10 favorite drugstore mascaras in there. So 
and I talk about how each, what I like about each one, and there's a lot of good ones. It was so hard to pick just like three. I just wanted to keep going. So today I'm gonna use, well, she's gonna use it because I'm not gonna put mascara on her. She has some on, but it's kind of flaked a little bit. You gonna go for it? Huh? She said she got that for free at HEB the other day because they were doing a, what was it? They had a coupon that was like, what was it? $5 off $10, $15 purchase. That's another thing, your grocery stores are, do really great coupons for makeup. Especially like for certain brands. I feel like L'Oreal and CoverGirl and Maybelline, they always have good deals. And those are my, some of my favorite. So she's just getting that right there on the lashes. And what I like about that one is that it separates, it's voluminous, it's lengthening, it kind of does everything that I want a mascara to do. She's only doing a light coat because she had a little bit of mascara on earlier. Now we're on to the last. I've, I could not stop with the lip products. Like, I'm big into lipstick, as you can probably see on my face. Um, and this is where you have fun in your starter kit. I feel like if you have a neutral eye palette, so I suggested these neutral eye palettes. I suggested a matte one. I suggested a, this shimmer one. I suggested one that was rosy tone. There's endless looks that you can create with these three palettes. So that's, you can go dramatic, you can go every day with it. But I really feel like with your lip products is where you have the fun. And today, I'm, I decided to go keep, I'm wearing a drugstore liquid lipstick that I'm absolutely obsessed with. It is the new Wet n Wild um, Color Icon Matte Liquid Lipsticks. And they're on a special display. So if you walk into Walgreens, they're only $5. They're so good. And this one's called Too Too Lip to Quit. And I'm loving it. So we have a question. What? So um, this one isn't sticky. So it goes on like a cream. Like it, I can go get it for you in a second. I'll show you. But a liquid lip, or you, you want to go get, it's in my, it's in either my purse or in, oh, well, I can show you. I just love showing people makeup. Like, here, look, it's so pretty. Um, no, but they go on like almost like a lip gloss almost where it's very creamy and comfortable, but then they dry to a matte finish. So like what you see right now is a very matte finish and they're more long wearing. So I've kissed my hand and it's not coming off. That's what I really like about the matte liquid lipsticks. Um, I'm, so I decided to wear this one today. I'm wearing mostly drugstore today or, or affordable makeup. And, but I decided to show you my, like, if I was stranded on a deserted island and I could only take one lip liner and one lipstick from the drugstore, what would I take? Which, I, God forbid that happens. Because um, I could not choose. This is the uh, Jordana Easy Liner. And these are so cheap and they're at Walgreens. And I love these. And I like to suggest a Your Lips But Better. Oh, she found it. These are with the Wet n Wild. They're limited edition lipsticks, so go find it. They come like this in this kind of packaging. They're really luxurious and they dry to a matte finish. Um, I love these. But for, like I said, this is the Jordana lipstick that I was talking about, and, um, or this is a lip liner. And then this is like the best lipstick. It's a great dupe for Max Brave. And this is called, um, there's not even a name for it. It's the Rimmel Kate Moss lipsticks. I'm gonna swatch it next to the highlighters. It's like a Your Lips But Better. It's like a rosy mauve color. So I always suggest like a Your Lips But Better color. And it pairs really well with the lip liner, which is also like a rosy mauve color. I think those are really great options to go with because you could create a really smoky eye and still wear this and it would, you would be able to pull it off. You wanna apply your lip liner? Lip liner. Katie really likes lipstick too. Like she likes to, she likes to keep it safe with her Eyeshadows. She doesn't like really to do anything crazy or dramatic, and she but she really loves playing with lip color because I feel like it can really change your look. But we're gonna go with the your lips but better. I should move. I should move. But I've listed some lipsticks, lip glosses, matte liquid lipsticks. 
I've listed um, all my favorite lip products at the drugstore that I think are worth trying out that are in your list that you can take home with you today. And when you line your lips, um, and just fill it in just a little bit. I like to line the lips, and I, sometimes I like to overline, so it makes your lips look a little fuller. And then fill it in a little bit, and then go over it with the lipstick. And sometimes if you get a little a lip liner that's just a hair darker than your lipstick, it gives your lips a little bit more contouring, or if you will. And then this is the Rimmel Kate Moss in number 08. I've no, that, I think that just the name is 08. I've, every time I have like a photo shoot, like if we go out and have pictures taken as a family, I always wear that lip combination. And in photos, it looks so good. I just think, unless I want to go crazy with the lip color, I like to keep it safe with family photos. I don't want everybody being like, oh, what lipstick are you wearing? <laughs> so, um, that covers like the basics of all the, the products that I wanted to show on Katie today. And I have a couple of extras before we get to the dupes or how to find some dupes. Um, setting sprays are also a really great option to use on the skin. After you're done, it just kind of melts the makeup together and make it look less chalky. Which she doesn't look chalky. What? It keeps the makeup from getting on your glasses. She said that like she likes to spray um, the setting spray on her frames. It keeps the makeup from getting on your glasses. Hey, I don't wear glasses. I don't know that. So that's awesome. <laughs> um, this is a Wet n Wild setting spray. I really like that. I really like the NYX one. And I really like the L'Oreal one as well. And then I'm wearing some false. I don't know. Some of you might be scared to wear falsies, false lashes. I love them. I'm wearing the Ardell Demi Wispies. Oh, I should put them down here, sorry. <laughs> and they come in, you can buy them singular and you can buy them in multi-packs. And what I love about the Demi Wispies, I like to cut them in half and put them on the outer corners of my eyelashes because I feel like it gives me just like a little bit of a d dramatic look without it going crazy. And so I cut them in half and I love to use this. I know I, false eyelashes can be kind of scary. And I love to use the duo glue that's in the brush. So I just brush it. And the secret to that is to make sure that you let the eyelash glue dry almost completely before applying it on the eyelid, on the lash line. And then I move it around with a pair of tweezers. And then just, I almost sometimes just kind of like look at myself in the mirror like this and put them on. <laughs> but I'm wearing the Ardell Demi Wispies right now today. And I feel like they really amp up and glam up my look. And I love cu cutting them in half as well. I just think that it really elevates like a basic makeup look. I'm not gonna put them on her today because I just don't think it's necessary because I wanted to focus on just like a basic makeup look. I think you look gorgeous. <laughs> um, okay, so let's talk about how to find some dupes. So I've, I've compiled a list of things that I have personally tried. This is like, kind of embarrassing and kind of also awesome at the same time that I've tried that many products that are dupes for each other. But I put that together for you guys. Um, that is a master, what I call my master list of drugstore dupes that I feel that are, if they're not identical, they have, they're so similar, I would rather buy this instead of that, if that makes sense. So if you are f looking for something, let's say you've, you've grown up using Estee Lauder or you really love a specific product, product from Clinique or whatever. There's some options that if you want to find a drugstore dupe, I, I would suggest going to Pinterest and typing in dupe for Estee Lauder double wear, which is Revlon Colors Day, by the way. Um, this is, I'm the encyclopedia. Okay. Um, if you type that in, there's so many options that'll come in on Pinterest that you should be able to find. Um, I have a bunch of different posts on my blog of dupes. If you type in makeup dupes on Pinterest, you're gonna find like five of my posts. I also think there's a really great resource on temptalia.com. She has the, I don't remember what it's called. It's a dupe list. So you're, you can type in a dupe and it searches a database or you can start like type in a high-end product. It'll search the database and it'll pull up products that it feels that it is similar to what you're looking for. So. 
I decided not to go through, like, these are dupes, how to find, like, because I, but I put it on that list for you right there. And I think that you can take that home and have a lot of fun with that and try and find stuff that you love. There is some amazing cult favorite affordable makeup online that you can buy not in stores. And I used some of that today. I tried to avoid it as much as I could, but I can't with Morphe. Um, ColourPop as well. They have the most amazing liquid and satin lipsticks, affordable eyeshadows, lip liners, and they're all under, all under $10. Most are under $6, like $6 and under. Morphe is great because their brushes are such great quality for low prices. They feel heavy, they feel high quality is what I really love about them. They're online only. If you just type in Morphe, you'll get there. If you type in ColourPop, ColourPop in Google, you'll get there. Um, and then Makeup Geek as well is another like cult favorite makeup brand that's, uh, that's pretty affordable as well, that's comparable to MAC eyeshadows. And then also Coastal Scents and BH Cosmetics are other two brands that I like to suggest as well. Morphe, for, like I love their eyeshadow palettes. They're 35 colors and they're like 30, they're no more than $35. They're just really great options. Um, that's how I like to really suggest those because you can also find a coupon code pretty much anywhere to get those for 10% off. Like all of the huge beauty YouTubers have them. So I suggest that you go and look for those. Um, 35, they're literally 35 eyeshadows in these big black eyeshadow palettes, and they're so gorgeous. I think that is all I've got for you today. If the, are there any questions over, like, there's anything that you specifically love or want to know? I'm the encyclopedia of drugstore. So <laughs> it's a lot. Um, there's a lot of information, but I hope that it helps you try and find some things that to give you some great products and if you want to come up and look at some of the stuff that I have up here you're totally welcome to and that I've made a mess out of everything um, if you go to the next slide for me Ashley I have if you want this list in digital format like so you want it sent as a PDF to you in email instead of like a instead of um, in your hands like you have right now you can type in this URL I have up there it's bit.ly slash Meg O Pinners. And it'll pull up a little form there. You just type in your email address. This puts you on my email list, but I don't spam. I only send one email a week of stuff that's on my blog that you can check out. You can unsubscribe anytime if you find me irritating. That's cool. It's not going to hurt my feelings. Um, and you'll get that list sent to you. Um, after you set, like it'll be sent in your email, you'll click the link, it'll pull up, and you can save it to your phone or your computer. So does anybody have any questions? Anything you guys want to talk about, chat about, anything? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Uh-huh. You can take drugstore makeup back. Not a lot of people know that, but you can return it, especially at Walgreens and Ulta. I know for a fact that if you don't like something, it doesn't work out for you, hang on to the receipt, take it back, they refund you. Don't have no shame. Bye, girls. If, there, if you guys don't have any other questions, I am so thankful you all are here to hear me ramble, and I really appreciate you being here today. Thank you so much. <laughs>